please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup. This and if you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody. So we have another pretty significant signing to talk about, and that is the Philadelphia Flyers signing Eric Gustafson to a one-year, $3 million deal for next season. And this is not surprising. We knew that Philadelphia was going to be in the market for a defenseman um, after Matt Niskanen retired, surprisingly, and kind of left a hole on the back end there. So Gus, they signed Gustafson to kind of be Niskanen's replacement, although it's not a direct correlation. Um Gustafson's a left shot defenseman. Um, Niskanen was a right shot. Also, clearly, Eric Gustafson is not the level of player that Matt Niskanen was, so it's not like it's a direct replacement. But Philadelphia needed to add a D man, and they do with Gustafson. And Gustafson can play a lot of the same ways that Niskanen did. Do a lot of the same things. He's He's got good offensive ability. He's he's a decent skater. He's got a good first pass. All attributes the same as Matt Niskanen. He can play on the power play as could Matt Niskanen. And he's got some offensive ability to put up points. So, um, you know, I think this is a really solid signing, obviously. I thought, honestly, I thought Philadelphia could go out and make kind of a bigger move. Not necessarily Alex Petrangelo big. But a bigger move and kind of make a bit of a splash by bringing in, you know, a top four D-man. But uh, they obviously decided um, that a depth guy like Gustafson, who can play middle pair or bottom pair, um, was was plenty. And I don't blame them. It's a nice, you know, one-year cheap deal at $3 million. He brings a lot of the same attributes that, that Niskanen does. And... And it's a solid deal for Philadelphia. And the thing with Philly is they have a lot of their young defensemen who are continuing to grow and step up into bigger roles, particularly Phil Myers and um, Travis Sanheim. So they didn't necessarily need to go out and get a top pair D-man because they have guys like Sanheim and Myers who are coming up and playing bigger and bigger roles and showing that they are top four defensemen at the NHL level. So... This, I think, was a solid move for Philadelphia. We knew that they were needed to get a defenseman. Rather than going big, they just make a solid, you know, kind of depth move in Eric Gustafson and bring him in. He played for Chicago. He played for Calgary last year after the trade deadline. And um, he's just a solid, offensive-minded defenseman who, who can bring points from the back end and play kind of a, a solid role there offensively. So while it's not a direct replacement for a top pair D-man like Matt Niskanen, it does kind of replace a lot of what you lost when Niskanen retired. And it makes a lot of sense for the Philadelphia Flyers, especially on a one-year deal at only $3 million, and they have a lot of cap space, so that's not really an issue. Um, it's, it's just it's a win-win. It's a win-win for Philadelphia and, you know, they had to do something. They're still going to allow their younger guys and their, their up-and-coming defensemen to grow and play bigger roles. They don't, you know, create a log jam at the top or anything like that. It'll be interesting to see who does play with um, Ivan Provorov on that top pair. Um, but uh, they, they certainly have guys that I think are capable. So, um, overall, solid deal here for Philadelphia, replacing somewhat Niskanen with Eric Gustafson and bring in a guy who can do a lot of the same things at a cheaper cost and a lower spot in the lineup. So Gustafson to Philadelphia, one year, $3 million. That also happened yesterday, and uh, that is a done deal. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to, hit, uh, if you'd like to further support the channel, our donation link, merch store, and Patreon are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.